So for teachers to learn how to approach maths visually, I recommend coming to our website <laughs> because we have lots of examples there. Um, and ucubed.org is in the US, UK, and then we have a Portuguese version of that website. And on there we have many visual maths tasks. Um, so an easy example to think about is teachers will ask students what's the area of an 8 by 3 rectangle and the, teacher, uh, the students will do a calculation. We ask students instead how many rectangles with an area of 24 can you find? So now the students are excited because they don't know how many there are, they're finding out, they're drawing the rectangles and they're thinking about the relationship between length and width. If I make one smaller, I can make the other bigger. Um, so, but we, we like to make everything visual. We, our challenge, we sometimes joke with teachers and say, give us any maths at all, at any level, any, any mathematical idea, and we'll make it visual. And we have a lot of fun doing that at uh, Center. So algebra, we've totally We've made um, 10 weeks of introductory algebra lessons on our site, they're all visual, um, so that students can think visually about algebra, and really any area of maths, I think it's possible to think visually about. Yes, yeah, so I can talk about results in different ways. Um, so, we, I have an online class that's been taken by a quarter of a million people, which introduces students to ideas about mindset and thinking differently about themselves and also shows them visual mathematics. And we studied the impact of that class. We conducted a randomized controlled trial with a large group of teachers and we recruited teachers who taught two middle school classes. So they gave this online class to one of their two classes at the beginning of the school year and then we followed kids through the school year. Thousands of students and what we found is that the students who took the online class at the end of the school year achieved at significantly high levels on state tests. Um, they also got higher GPAs, grade point averages in maths, in science, in English. Um, and it was, this was a six, 15 minute session little class. So we have that kind of evidence. We also uh, recently ran a four week maths camp where we taught students in these ways and they were with us for 18 lessons they took a test before they came to us we gave them the same test at the end they'd improved but by the equivalent of 2.8 years of school um, just from the 18 lessons of engaging differently and thinking differently about themselves we also have teachers who are using the approach we worked last year with a large group of fifth grade teachers in California who took my teacher course and they changed their teaching. They made it visual. They talked about how with maths, they'd always just thought it was procedures. Now they see how they work. Now they see how a fraction division works with visuals. And even during that year, while the teachers were making these changes, their students scored at significantly higher levels on state tests at the end of the school year. So we have many different forms of evidence, all of which point to really big changes for kids.